Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining us today. It's so uh, special to have you all here to join us for the CEO Pitch Fest, a little different than uh, we anticipated, but still a very special day for all of our students and teaching artists and mentors, and um, glad to have all of our guests joining us today as well. My name is Lucia Torres. I'm the executive director of Las Fotos Project, um, and I am you know, more than happy to welcome you all again to this wonderful day. Um, thank you all for taking your time on Saturday to join us. For those of you who are with us live, I would suggest uh, best experiencing these presentations by clicking the speaker view. Um, and so you go up to the right hand side at the top of your screen where it says view, click on that, and then you can click on uh, side by side speaker. And that'll get you your best, uh, your best experience watching all of our student presentations. And again, just a quick reminder, if you can please keep your microphones on mute as our student presentations are happening, that way you can hear all the wonderful things that they will be presenting. Uh, and then also, you know, so you have any questions, you can ask those at the end. Uh, we are also going to have our student portfolios up on our website very soon. So please make a note of this website address, lesfotosproject.org slash student portfolios. Within a week's time, all of our student portfolios will be loaded experiencing that perfectly for yourself and then also contact any of our students that you would like to work with or contact us at ceo at lasfotosproject.org if you have any projects that you'd like to work with our students on as well we can connect you with our students in that way too and uh for those of you who are just you know new to the organization and joining us and for those of you watching i just wanted to tell you a little bit about our organization and what we have going on Las Fotos Project, we say we're here to inspire teenage girls through photography. Uh, we have three core programs. Our Esta Soy Yo program is our self-exploration program. That program is designed for our students to really explore their own voices and their own narratives and stories through photography. We use a lot of experimental photography. We do a lot of therapeutic photography. In that program, it really is a space for our students to just find their voice, build their voice, and express themselves in any which way that they uh, would like to through their creativity. We also have a program called Digital Promotoras, which is our digital advocacy program and this program inspires our students through photojournalism and documentary photography to really advocate for their communities and speak up about the issues that they care about. And uh, finally, CEO, which is what you all are experiencing today, is our newest program, Creative Entrepreneurship Opportunities. And this program came about because our students came to us and said, you know, we really want to step into the creative field. We want to be professional creatives. Uh, we just don't really fully understand how to do this and connect with folks. And we said, you know what, we need to really create a space where people are able to do this um, and where our students can really start practicing their skills uh, as creative professionals and this new and ever growing creative economy. And then also really to combat the fact that, uh, you know, the creative world and the, photog the photographic world is dominated by white men. And so we really need to start pushing out and raising up the voices of our women of color in these creative fields. And so CEO is a house for uh, people who want to do this and want to support uh, these efforts. And so today you all will see presentations by our CEO students who have been working for the past 13 weeks on their professional uh, portfolios. And so as I mentioned, here's a little bit more about our CEO program. Our CEO program started in October of 2017. Uh, our students are between the ages of 15 to 18. And through the CEO program, our students are able to get professional on the job mentoring. So they'll be they're in the classroom training, they're learning their, photo their photography skills. And then at the same time, they have opportunities to engage with real life clients. Um, to build out our clients' uh, e-commerce, you know, portfolios, to build out our clients' um, pro product photography, and then also in uh, a not-so-distant past, uh, having the ability to do some professional event photography for our clients as well. Um, and this, this program is really, you know, a great opportunity for our students to gain this training 
earn an income for the organization also to build some revenue for itself as well to reinvest in our students. And then also for our community members and partner organizations to invest in our students as well as they themselves are building out their own professional portfolios and earning an income through their creative photography as well. Um, so again, thank you all so much for joining us uh, today. Uh, hopefully next year when we do this again, we'll be all together in one place. Uh, it'd be really so great to see you all in, in the room, but you know, it's also still really great to see you all here joining us today uh, in this virtual space as well. And so without further ado, uh, I believe we are going to get started with our presentations and I'd like to introduce our first teaching artist, Melinda, who is our wonderful teaching artist for what we called the CEO clients class. And so Melinda is gonna tell us a little bit more about what that class is and then introduce us to our first presenters. Melinda, go ahead and take it away. Thank you, Lucia. Hi everyone, my name is Melinda Arredondo. I am the teaching artist for CEO clients. I'm a fashion, fine art and product photographer and I've been with Los Photos Project for two semesters. Our CEO clients class is made up of six returning Las Photos project students and five mentors with different skill sets and experiences. We focused on what it is like working with clients, treatments, editing, product photography, and creating work that not only included the client's vision, but the girl's photography style as well. Thanks to Mixtina, Vivek Cosmetics, PF Candles, and Pam and Mo, each girl received products from these brands to shoot from home working through the challenges of limited light sources, working from home and using family as their models, the girls were still able to create professional work for their clients and their portfolios. I have been so impressed with each girl's determination and resourcefulness this semester, and I cannot wait to share with you their hard work. Without further ado, our first CEO client student, Maria Romero Gomez. Hello everyone. Um, my name is Maria Romero, I mean, sorry, uh, Maria Evelyn Romero Gomez. I am 18 years old and my pronouns are her, she. Um, I have been part of Las Fotos for eight semesters and this semester I was part of the client's class and I learned about photography as well as how to make a profit from photography. Uh, some of the brands I was able to work with are Biva Cosmetics, PF Candles and Lander LA and being able to learn uh, about different types of photography gave me an understanding of what I really like. And for example, I learned that I love working in closed um, sets that don't include multitudes of people. And I learned that um, I learned to use my stuff as props for the photos. Um, in the future, I hope to, I hope I can uh, work on editorial slash portrait uh, photography. And also I uh, being able to accommodate what the client wants and adding a little part of, um, of me to the photos is what makes me a great person to work with. Thank you. Hi, my name is Andrea Popoca. I am 14 years old. I focus on portraiture and event photography. I like to capture unseen moments behind the scenes. In my work, I capture emotions so my images tell a story and whenever you look back at it, it would want to make you smile. My photographs are important moments you would want to keep forever. I can show others another side of you while still being and looking professional. In the future, I hope to continue taking portraits as well as event photography and keep progressing as a person and in my work. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Adria Marin. I am 15 years old and I use she, her pronouns. I fell in love with photography almost two years ago and this is my third semester with Las Fotos Project. I take inspiration for my photography from my culture and the community around me. I try my best to incorporate my Mexican Guatemalan roots into my work. I love taking self portraits as well as staging products and capturing moments with my family. I have shot some events in the past though I hope to create more product work in the future. With my photography, I hope to not only express my creativity, but inspire other young women to do so as well. Hi, my name is Romina Estrada. I'm an 18 year old photographer who specializes in fashion and portrait photography. 
I've been at Las Fotos project for four years and have studied and practiced with lighting and colors to make my photos vibrant and dynamic. While connecting with other like-minded creatives, I've gotten to work with brands and companies such as Viva Cosmetics, Forever 21, Landers Skateboards, Vogue, and more. When brands such as these hire me, I provide fun photos that highlight femininity and joy. Thanks to the Las Fotos CEO program, I am able to explore photography as a full-time career while also building up my photo skills, learning from my mistakes, and being creative. Good afternoon, my name is Silali Martinez. I am a 17 year old LA based photographer. Photography has been an interest of mine for about four years, which is also the amount of years I have been with Las Fotos. Over this time, I've received the opportunities to expand my knowledge and skill sets along with exploring different fields of photography. At first, I wasn't sure what I enjoyed photographing until this semester when we got to shoot products for companies and brands and I realized I was fond of fashion and skating photography. Even though we didn't shoot any skating products, on my own time I was able to shoot some friends that are skaters. I hope that in the near future I can expand my experience in these fields and create something great with it. Hi everyone, my name is Kenzie Floyd and I'm the teaching artist for the CEO Techniques class. I'm a photographer and began my career 11 years ago when I was 16. I know firsthand how transformative photography can be for a teenage girl and I also know the difficulties of trying to be taken seriously while navigating a career in the photo industry as both a woman and a young person. I began mentoring three years ago and then nervously and happily began teaching in January of this year. While CEO typically has a large aspect of the program dedicated to event photography and on-the-job training, we obviously had to regroup this year since very few events are happening. Like many industries, event photography has been hit hard. And like all other photographers, our students had the opportunity this semester to get creative, to take this time at home to really hone in on their styles and techniques, to learn how to create with what they have around them, and to put together beautiful and strong portfolios that exemplify all that they are capable of. For the last 12 weeks, every Saturday morning, we dove into the many technical aspects of photography, style, composition, lighting, ISO, shutter speed, editing. Students shot hundreds of photos on their own with assignments pertaining to our weekly technical theme. Working within the constraints of the pandemic, students collaborated closely and virtually with their amazing mentors, Kathleen, Alexa, Diane, Joey, Patricia, and Michelle. Together, we learned how to create still life backdrops with a sheet in our kitchen, how to direct and take portraits of one another over Zoom using only the light our subjects had available, made still lifes that reflected who we are, had dance parties and shared spooky stories and photographers for our Halloween class, and spent a lot of time receiving and giving thoughtful critique on one another's weekly photo submissions. The task this semester was for our students to really get a handle on the technical aspects of photography and shooting in manual, while in the end creating co comprehensive portfolios to share with the public, all of you. I'm so proud of all the amazing work and growth students have shown this year and their techniques and their grasp on shooting in manual. Above all though, I'm proud and grateful for the opportunity to learn about who these amazing students are and the stories behind their images. Something we've talked about since the beginning of the semester is the importance and power of knowing yourself and your own story and learning how to reflect that in your own work. While technical skills were certain, will certainly enhance a photo and its impact, it is the unique perspective and voice of each photographer that will be the most powerful. Stepping into who we are and what we care about is the first and more, most important step that we can make as people, as artists, and as professionals. So while you will see many of the photo techniques and explorations in each student's work, what I hope you see most of all is the power of each student's unique eye and perspective in the, sub in the subjects that they have chosen to photograph and the photos that they have chosen to share. Their perspective as women, as teenagers living through a pandemic, as daughters and sisters and friends and activists, and as artists with their own story to tell. So with that, we will begin our presentations in alphabetical order, starting with the lovely Ketsali. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Katala Fala. My pronouns are she, her. I am a 14-year-old photographer from East LA. Photography was never something I would have imagined I would have a passion for. 
But around three years ago, I applied to my first LFP class, Digital Promotoras. Since then, I have developed a passion for it. Not only that, but it has allowed me to explore a different side of me and allowed me to expand my creativity. From the beginning, portraiture has been one of the niches I've been perfecting. Whether it be candid, prose, natural lighting, or flash, it is something I truly cherish. I am now culminating my fourth semester in the CEO Techniques class with the help of my mentor, Kathleen. This semester, I created a portfolio which shows a range of techniques I've been able to acquire, such as working with low light, low light settings, shutter speed, and overall being able to adapt my surroundings. Hi, my name is Nina Alvarado Goldberg. I'm 16 years old. My pronouns are she, her, and this is my third semester with Las Fotos Project. I was born and raised in Echo Park, and I'm currently a junior at Grand Arts, which is in downtown LA. As a portrait photographer and photojournalist, I'm driven by the intricate stories of the diverse people in my life and all across Los Angeles, and I hope to use my art to highlight those stories. I love to work in both film and digital, observing and documenting all that is going on around me. I'm interested in working alongside small businesses such as eco-friendly and sustainable fashion or jewelry brands on creative projects in the future. I'm an advocate for social justice and especially passionate about women's rights and sustainability. And I work to listen to and amplify voices of underrepresented communities in the art world. I hope to connect my multi multicultural identity as a Guatemalan Jew with my photography and creative work in future projects. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Malina Limilian Diaz Casas. I am 13 years old. My pronouns are she, her, hers. My hobbies are embroidery, jujitsu, skateboarding, and bike riding. I have been a part of Las Fotos for three semesters and it has been a great experience. In all of my classes, I have been able to learn a lot about photography. I'm really glad to have found and be a part of such a positive and supportive environment. My favorite types of photography to view and photograph are candid and portrait because each face tells a story and is completely unique. I find it beautiful to see all the diversity in the world and appreciate all of our differences. I want to work with women and communities of color. I also want to work with activists and use my photography scales as a platform for social justice. What I want to offer to my future clients is a new perspective that highlights the differences in people as well as the characteristics that makes them each their own person. Using natural lighting, I try to show who people are and enhance the natural environment, whether it's indoors or outdoors. Finally, my photography helps me make connections and relationships between people and places. Thank you. Good afternoon, my name is Rocio Hernandez. My pronouns are she, her. I am a 17 year old living in Boyle Heights. This is my fourth semester here at Las Fotos. My first time in a CEO class. I joined Las Fotos when I was 16. This program has helped me with self-expression and storytelling through photography. I am thankful to Las Fotos for providing me with equipment every semester to be able to participate and show you all my photography. I have developed an interest in photojournalism. This semester, there was a lot going on in the world, but what was most accessible to me were COVID testing sites because I constantly scheduled tests for my family members because their job requires it. I got to, I got to photograph two firefighters that wish me good luck on my portfolio. I definitely love taking pictures of my friends and family. I know how uncertain and quick people can be to change as time goes. Therefore, capturing people in the moment where they were smiling at a silly joke or feeling confident about their new clothes is priceless. Lastly, I appreciate still photography. Shooting product has been soothing because you never have to tell it how to pose. My friend started a small, small business this year and I photographed her earrings. It is very inspiring to see her have so much success and support from everyone around her. I am definitely addicted. I think I have bought seven pairs of earrings. They are really beautiful. In the future, once conditions are favorable, I will continue to shoot portraits, landscapes, and continue to capture parts of my community with my lens. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. My name is Nayeli Huerta. I'm 18 years old and I'm from East Los Angeles. I'm in the CEO technique class and I've been a student with Las Fotos Project for three semesters. I began shooting four years ago 
It all started after I saw a butterfly on a tree leaf one afternoon, and I felt compelled to capture its beauty. My main focus with photography at first was taking photos of nature because it's my comfort zone. I just love the beauty of nature and seeing how people interact in the outdoors. Recently, I have been exploring product photography, experimenting with light and incorporating elements of nature. Another one of my favorite genres of photography is portrait and self-portrait. I became interested in portraits because of my niece. She is my model and she always has fun giggling while she poses. I really enjoy the bond we have when we do a photo shoot. I currently work with friends and family doing individual and family portrait sessions. In the future, I would love to continue photographing kids and family as a family photographer, as well as for brands like Old Navy and Gap. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Paula Jaime. I'm an 18 year old living in the heart of Boyle Heights. This semester with Los Fotos, Los Fotos Project, I honed in on my creative niches of environmental portraits, uh, product photography and low lighting photography. I experimented, I learned and I grew. I'm really grateful I have the opportunity uh, to use my loved ones as subjects for my photography. One of my favorite shoots from this whole project was photographing my mom doing her small at home business job, making metal brushes. Um, she starts working at 4 a.m. and starts drinking Nescafe and listening to Spanish radio stations. Everything she does at her work is so meticulous and orderly. Her fingers are all scratched up like sandpaper from all the years she's dedicated to this hard work. She finishes the job with brittle hands, a hunchback, and sore eyes. She calls me Pava, which translates to turkey in Spanish. She asked me when I was photographing her, Pava, why are you taking pictures of me? Out of everyone, you choose me. You should be taking pictures of something pretty and interesting. I see exactly that in her and more. I see her beauty. I see her hard work. I see her sacrifice. I see her resiliency in the face of struggle. Her work and her worth doesn't go unnoticed. And I want to help shape narratives that inform how Latinx folks see themselves. I want there to be an abundance of photography that showcases the complex humanity of my community. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Sofia. I am 17 years old. I'm a Russian born queer artist and I now reside in Los Angeles. I immigrated to the United States in 2017 and it has significantly changed me as an artist and as a person. I've become more liberated in expressing who I am through photography. I'm currently attending a high school with an arts oriented curriculum and I joined Las Fotos Project three semesters ago in their fight for equal rights for for women in a male-dominated art industry. I gain a sense of belonging to a community of artists who use their art to help those whose voices are so commonly unheard. I think that photography is a strong advocacy tool due to the message it can send. I wish to capture the beauty and uniqueness of every, of every um, person, moment, living and non-living thing that surrounds me through portraiture, candid and editorial photography. I enjoy working with people that are interested in having their little worlds captured. I strive towards telling a story of my subject through photography. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Veronica and I go by she, her. I'm an 18 year old photographer born and raised in Alhambra. Through my photography journey and through Las Fotos project, I have learned to love and excel in candid photography. And that's because I feel that it makes a perfect memory that you don't have to rack your brain in order to find. You see the same things over and over again uh, when you're in the photography field, but I hope I can introduce a fresh perspective. As you look through my work, I hope that you feel what I feel, warmth, joy, bliss, and even excitement. I hope to even make you gasp. In the future, I hope to work with my photography in order to develop it to portray the dark side of humans, the negative, dirty, grimy injustice of our world, but at the same time, beauty, life, and love. I aspire to work with magazines such as Alternative Press, Esquire, and Vanity Fair. Thank you. <laughs> Hi.
Hi, my name is Meadows and I'm from Las Vegas and I've only recently moved to Los Angeles, El Sereno, like two years ago and I've always carried a passion for photography but only getting the camera this semester since this is my first experience at Las Fotos. Even though I've only had a camera during quarantine, it's only sparked my interest and makes me more passionate about what I can do as a photographer. My niches are landscape, portrait, and black and white photography. At first, I did shy away from taking candid, but once I started experimenting more and using my families as my models, I realized how much more exciting photo shoots can be compared to an upfront headshot. My favorite shoot has been the series of my cousin where the main picture is her hair in the air because of how ethereal the pictures came out compared to the behind the scenes of me laying on the floor trying to make my vision come true. Throughout this whole journey, it has opened my eyes to what I can do with the camera and what is to come in the future. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Irene Valdez. I am a 17 years old and my pronouns are she, her, her, ella. I am currently a senior at Alliance Sergitajimo High School and I live in the Westlake Macquarie Park area of Los Angeles. My favorite, uh, my favorite part of this class has been being able to learn how to shoot manually and getting comfortable with this new mode. I have been able to expand my horizons by not only shooting photojournalism and capturing my activism work um, with my student led nonprofit known as Creative Project LA and capturing our journey throughout this year, but I have also been able to dive into different um, creative things I like, such as styling and photographing products, such as hypey shoes for my cousin's online store. And I am a resourceful and creative person, so I get really inspired by my surroundings or any elements and I create the perfect picture. Uh, my future plans are to continue shooting photojournalism to keep capturing different stories and seeing things from others' lenses. In college, I plan to take classes like digital art to keep learning and fueling this passion of mine. And I still want to continue my activism work and start my own nonprofit in my local community to help um, unrepresented people like me. And I wanna be behind the branding and image of my org to encourage others to support my causes. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of our students. Uh, I have to say, like, I was blown away by each and every one of your presentations. So amazing. This is, by the way, this is my first time hearing and seeing everyone's presentations. Um, and they were so amazing and so inspiring. And I am so blessed to be able to work with this organization with all of you all and uh, to call you all community as well. Um, thank you all so much for putting all of your time and effort and passion into your photography. Uh, for those of you who are watching with us live, you will be able to see each of our student portfolios in a few days time, lasfotosproject.org slash student portfolios. You can follow us on Instagram to know when those are going up and when they have been officially launched. For those of you watching this recorded video, uh, I'm sure you'll see the portfolio somewhere down below. So you can go ahead and explore all of our students and their uh, photography work and their portfolios as well. And like I mentioned at the beginning, if you'd like to work with any one of our CEO students, please reach out to us. Uh, you can reach us at CEO at lasfotosproject.org and let us know which student you'd like to work with or reach out directly to our students as well. We are more than happy to connect you with our students. This is what this program is all about to be able to build uh, this community and network of supporters and uh, young women photographers and non-binary photographers as well. Um, and so we have some time now to go into some questions for any of our students and you can uh, ask questions in the chat if you'd like, or if you'd like to take yourself off of mute, you are more than welcome also to just ask the question uh, out loud directly to our students or to any of our students. So if you all have any questions for, for our students or our teaching artists or our mentors as well, uh, please feel free to drop anything into the chat box and I'll go ahead and read those out or you can turn off, uh, turn on your camera and, uh, and unmute yourself and ask your question out loud as well.
And also uh, to our students, please feel free to ask each other questions as well. I know our CEO and clients class had a few, you know, some small opportunities to, to work together. But if you all have questions for each other, please feel free to ask each other questions as well. I have a question for the first CEO class, the clients class. I would like to hear from any student who wants to share a little bit more about your experience working with different clients, like especially virtually and what the process was like for you from hearing what the client wanted and then creating your own work, if anyone wants to answer. Um, I can answer that. Um, at times it was a little, sorry, a little stressful because um, we would get like uh, a week to finish that photo shoot. And since I, I mentioned before, like we didn't really have any like um, budget or anything to like get props. So it was like coming up with um, something that would look unique and finding props from our own homes. And then also like we didn't have access to lighting kits. So it was like getting um, natural lighting. So, but I think I love seeing everyone's photos like at the end of the week, because we were able to see how everyone got an inspiration and managed to get a really beautiful photo. Thank you. I have a question for any any CEO. It could be the clients or Kenzie's class. I was just wondering um, if, if you guys wanted to talk more about your class projects. I know I haven't really gotten to see Kenzie's class projects, so I'm really excited for those. If someone in Kenzie's class wants to elaborate more on one of their projects, I'd love to hear it. Well, I know for our class, it was in a way a little bit more free since we had a bigger range of kind of uh, things to photograph and that was it was really cool and kind of freeing but at the same time it was a little harder because you know you get a little overwhelmed with options but one of the projects is I went to there's a town where my grandparents live Traver and it's near it's a lot of agriculture so it's near the like, grapevines so one of the projects I wanted to do is I went uh, with a I went on a walk with my grandfather and I just love being able to photograph that and capture those moments. Thank you, that was so good. <laughs> Does anybody else have any questions for the girls? I have a question. Um, there's, you know, just, just this talk show, showcases the amount of like talent that each of you have. And I'm just curious to know like what about Las Fotos is, is um, so special to you all and what really like fosters this community and uh, yeah, just uh, curious to know more about that for, or, I mean, whatever girls want to answer that. I could answer that. Um, I've been with Las Fotos for about a year now and one thing that makes Las Fotos really special is meeting every other girl that's in my class or that's in the organization because they're all very passionate about photography. And when we show each other our work, we're, we all like get super excited about certain things, you know? And something like that is something you don't really get if you were to show it to someone who's not really like, into photography they'll just be like oh that's a nice photo and that's it but others will be like oh my god the lines the colors like that sort of stuff and also um all all everyone that works there too you know lucia helen uh lana they all make you feel so at home um they'll always ask you like how's your day what's going on and every mentor too like even if they aren't your mentor that you get in class they'll still the other mentors will still check up on you or they'll be like oh nice job and that sort of stuff is you don't really get it sometimes from others but here like everyone just like it's so nice and yeah it's just it's a very um it's a learning environment 
as well you know we learned so much but it's because they because of the way that everyone is too they're all like there to learn but also there to like to support you in more than just learning Thank you so much for that, Veronica. Would anyone else like to share? Rocio, would you like I'm gonna to go. I'm going to yes. go, but I already prepped myself. Okay, I didn't know this was going to be a question, but um, I'm going to say, like, I keep coming back every time because I can be me in class. Like, the most authentic part of me, like, I can show it in class, and everyone's like, yes, you're crazy, but, you know, we love you. <laughs> and I just love seeing everyone's pictures every semester. Like, everyone's so talented and, like, supportive of one another, and I do feel like we're all connected somehow, and we're close, so I could reach out without being awkward. Like, it's like school because... But not, no way, it's not like school. Definitely not. Like, we learn so much here that they don't teach us in school, and, like, we get to like take it outside in our community and like share it and teach them and like Las Fotos teaches us. And I wanna say like, thank you so much because like you brought me close to my best friend, Pili, and she's like here somewhere. I don't know where she's at, but yeah, thank you. She's like my rock during these times. And yeah, I wanna say thank you to everyone for a great semester. Thank you so much, Rocio. Uh, would anybody else like to share or does anyone else have a question? Um, I would like to add on to that. For sure. Everything Veronica and Rocio have said is so true. Um, I feel like, like when Veronica said that when you see each other's pictures, you're like, oh my God, the, like, the lines and like everything, that is so true because I can show one picture to some like somebody who doesn't know about photography and they'll just be like oh that's nice and then like I show it to my class and they're like I love this I love that I love this and it just makes me feel so um so good about my work but it also motivates me and every other girl inspires me to constantly try and do better and constantly um shoot you know and not really be like scared of trying to like of, like bringing out your camera because if you don't bring out your camera, you're not going to capture those moments that you're going to end up regretting. And they've just become a family to me. And I come back every single semester because I love the staff and I love the girls. So, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Katsali. Um, I have a question, actually, for you all. What is one valuable thing that you all learned this semester? And that's for both the CEO clients and techniques class. What is one valuable thing that you learned or took away from this semester? I think it would be being more resourceful because I know when I first um, started as well those and started hearing about the CEO class, I was really looking forward to like event photography and like studio photography and being more professional. But then COVID happened and we're on like a pandemic and we don't have the access to everything we used to. So I think through especially this semester and with all the kind of like prompts we were given in class, we really had to learn how to just use everything that we have and not take, really take anything for granted. So I thought it was really an amazing opportunity too, because I was able to learn so much about how to use my surroundings. Thank you for that. Uh, who else? I want to I want to pick on a few of you or ask a few of you to respond to that one. Somebody we haven't heard from yet. How about that? Are mentors allowed to say anything? Sure. Uh, I learned that the youth is incredibly resilient, that they'll make the best out of what they have. And often what they make will knock your socks off. So what they lack in perspective, they make it, they make up in creativity and it's crazy to see. Like I'm incredibly inspired by everybody I saw today. Thank you for that, Joey. I'm in the same boat, in the same. I, I'm always, always blown away. Um, but you know, today's presentations were amazing. Who else would like to share? What is one thing that you feel you're taking away from the semester? 
I could go. Um, one thing I really take is just how empowering and how amazing everybody has been from LFP to the class, to the students, to the mentors, to the teachers, that we all can come together to teach each other and to empower each other as women, as uh, women of color. Um, and I think that in general was really huge for me and inspired me to keep going on my own end as an artist, on my own end as a human being, as a part of a, you know the community. Um, and yeah, I, this whole time I've just been crying. I'm just like, I can't handle it. Um, and yeah, so I'm like really happy and very honored to be part of this. Yeah. Um, I'll go. I think this semester I, I learned so much about the importance of community, like the communities we create in class and the communities like Las Fotos has created and how like, we are each other's resources and like at some point like we go to each other and we like help each other and yeah so i want to say thank you to everyone <laughs> thank you uh any would anyone what sorry would anyone else like to share yeah i could okay. tell I just wanted to share that, you know, this semester I really learned that we have to capture and really take in these moments that we experience in our life. I know that before I used to just capture other things, but this year with being with my family, I was able to capture pictures of my um, my cousin and just really enjoy these moments and really get to like, I guess, savor um, these pictures that I was able to take. And it was such a, a wonderful experience to not only learn um, with my life, but also learn with others and just being able to share and see everybody else's families and lives during these times was, was super supportive and very, um, it was very powerful just because I know I'm not alone, that we're all going through it together and that we were just loving and supporting each other. Um, I wanted to say that I learned to like, as well, like live in the moment, but more because we're limited with being like how long we are to be as a student with Las Fotos. And I now realize that I only have like two more semesters and it kind of makes me feel like sad because I don't want to go. And it's it's like a big family to me. And um, I already know I'm going to get emotional. So that's Well, I'll let you know, you don't have to go. <laughs> you're always going to be a part of the Las Fotos Project family and community, and you're always going to be welcome in the space. And we would love to have you like continue with us as a mentor, uh, as a teaching artist in the future. You know, and this goes out to all of you all. Like, we want to see you stay with us beyond your classes. So come back and mentor and be a teaching artist and, you know, be a peer mentor um and actually that that leads me to i have another question for all of you all what is one piece of, of advice or something that you would say to another teen photographer who is maybe just getting started or just wanting to like start exploring photography what is something that you would share with them and again this goes out to anybody who wants to answer um i can answer that I would encourage anybody to just reach out to people, you know, everybody has so many connections and it's just like you're, when you're starting out as a young photographer, it's just so scary. Like you see all these people doing what they're doing and you're like, I'm so scared to reach out, but it's like just reaching out to people. They have connections, they know what they're doing and they can help you. They will push you. They will motivate you to just make your photos better. And so just reaching out to people. I just wanted to say, for me, it's about, you know, it doesn't matter how old you guys are. You are all so young and youthful and have so much, I don't know, like you guys are all going to be able to dominate this world, but no matter how old you are, how much experience you have, you are all amazing photographers and don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. You know, you can just take a photo of your coffee. I don't care. It's some of the best work I've seen. And you guys, I've worked with people for ages and hey, a lot of you guys are shooting better than some of these 40 year old men. So remember, keep up the good work. I cannot wait to see where you all go. I uh, kinda wanna, oh, oops. sorry, no, 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 Rocio, go ahead. Rocio, go ahead. <laughs> 
I think some advice I'd be I'd say uh, join LFP because you'll have like your community and resources here and most importantly like don't compare yourself or your work to somebody else's and don't try to be like anybody else like your voice your techniques and they will all like improve as you go like don't expect to be like perfect at it right when you start like you'll build on it and it's going to be amazing because you'll be like your own person you'll have your own perspective um i was gonna say uh the world is your oyster don't let anybody freaking tell you otherwise um better to ask for forgiveness than for permission but you didn't hear it from me and the worst thing they can say is no so ask, always just ask, because you never know. The worst thing they can say is no. And if they say no, who cares, right? But yeah, that's my two cents <laughs> for anybody who wants to join Las Focos. Um, I think what I would say to a student or someone that would just get on is um, you're important. You're part of the resistance. You're part of the change that needs to happen within our industry. Oh, you, you went on mute, Carolina, sorry. Can you hear me now? Okay, yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it's ne you're necessary, you're needed in order to change, you know, the masses and, you know, what is needed in the future um, and that to not stop, to do what your heart tells you, what your gut tells you, you know, um, and that, you know, you're not by your, you're not on your own. There's others there that can also help you now and that, you know, we're here in LFP, so yeah. <laughs> Um, I was going to say that so much of photography and art in general is just kind of like trial and error and figuring out figuring out like what makes you happy and what about photography makes you happy. Um, so I guess just like using this time where it like kind of feels like we're like at a standstill to kind of like hone in on like those aspects of art that like actually make you happy and that um, you want to focus on because I feel like that kind of joy is something that everybody really needs right now um, in a time like this. Thank you all so much. Um, does anyone else, I think we have time for another question. I know I asked two of my own, so <laughs> anyone have any other questions or comments you want to throw in? I do have one question uh, for the, uh, the students. Um, does it really help to be taught and given advice by a woman of color like yourself? Is, is there something that really uh, like touches you when that happens? Just because I didn't have that full on experience and I just kind of want to know how that makes you feel. Well, for one, I feel like um, it gives me hope because I see that like there's another woman of color doing the job that I want to do or like doing some form of the job that I want to do. And it shows me like, oh yeah, it's possible. I just got to keep at it. And, um, or like, you know, like, so it just, it makes me hopeful and also like when they give me advice i i felt i feel more inclined to take it i don't know it might be a little more weird if it was like someone else right now i can't picture it as anyone else because yeah that's just yeah. how great my mentors have been like joey nice. <laughs> thank you Uh, Mina, I know you dropped something in the chat. You wanna you wanna say that out loud? So we have it on video. Um, I guess for me at least, it's so much easier to kind of want to listen to someone who I feel like I have a lot in common with. Um in I I mean compared to someone who I just like I've been taught to like have to listen to them just because they're like white, male, cisgendered, like. I don't know. It's just a lot easier to kind of like, like have an urge to actually like want to work with them and want to listen to them um, and like want to get advice from them. Um, and just, I feel like with Las Fotos especially, like 
the mentors I've had in, in the past I've had so much in common with. Um, shout out to Michelle. Um, but yeah, just like, I guess just them being people who we can relate to really well because of like the different identities we share with them, it just makes it a lot easier to kind of have a relationship with them and work with them. Thank you. Would anyone else uh, like to share? Go, go for it, Jose. Um, I think it's um, been really important for me because um, I'm from El Salvador and like I never heard anyone say, oh, I'm from there or I'm Salvadorian, like with pride. And then like I come here and I meet my Salvadorian queen, Helen, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't feel so alone anymore. And then I start finding out like most of us are from Central American countries and it's like, okay, this is amazing. And then the mentors like help you and they tell you like stuff you don't know about your own culture because maybe you immigrated here when you were so little that you don't remember, but like they remind you of like what's going on, what went what happened and like you feel understood and you feel connected even though you they're like a different age gap but it's like oh we are all like coming from the same place it's like really good and it helps you like trust them and it helps you like work better and express yourself and like that's important Thank you all so much again for sharing your thoughts and your responses. And thank you to everyone uh, who asked a question and all of you for, for joining today and your presentations. Um, again, we're gonna have those presentations up. Just follow us on Instagram and we'll let you know when those have gone live. I also wanna say a very special thank you to our product partners who provided this amazing opportunity for some of our students to be able to practice uh, their product photography and build out their portfolios. So thank you so much to Forever 21, Mixtina, Pam and Mo, PF Candle Company and Vive Cosmetics uh, for your partnership this semester and for your investment in our students as well and your investment in the creativity uh, and future of our students as well. I also wanna thank our funders and our partners, our funding partners uh, for making this possible and providing us the ability to have this class for everyone and to carry out this program. So thank you to the Amundsen Foundation, the Goldhurst Foundation, and also everyone who voted for us on LA 2050. And thank you, Rocio, for your awesome memes. <laughs> I think you single-handedly brought us like the win. So thank you for all your amazing memes. So thank you, the Goldhurst Foundation and LA 2050, uh, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, California Arts Council, uh, Dwight Stewart Youth Fund, and also to Converse again for your support. Um, and that is it, y'all. You know, stay connected with us if you're not already uh, at Las Fotos Project on all the things, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, hashtag Las Fotos Project, or follow us on the web, uh, lasfotosproject.org. All of our student presentations and exhibitions are going to be up on that. And then also please uh, save the date for those of you who don't know, don't have this already saved. Next week on Saturday, we're going to have another student presentation and culmination for all of our classes. And you'll we'll have some of our student reps sharing a little bit more about their work and their photography. Uh, so join us for that amazing celebration. And I think what we will be doing right now before everybody logs off, uh, Jesse, if I know you're you're sort of back there working our AV, I think we want to do like a group shot, a group screen grab. So if you all can turn on your cameras and uh, Jesse, can you walk us through when you'll do the screen grab? Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, this is Jesse here at Las Fotos Project. So I'll go ahead and do a screen grab. Uh, there's two pages and unfortunately who's showing up on your side is not the same as mine. So just hold your smile. I'll count us down um, and you know uh, give us your best your best cheese in. So I'll, I'll do the first one. Uh, let me just map the screen here. Okay. So smile number one, you ready? One, two, also my computer has a bit of a delay, so like really hold it. All right, one, two, cheese. Okay, there's one, now page number two. <laughs> so hold for one second. Also, I love that this part is being recorded, it's kind of cute. All right, one, two, and smile. And there we go, awesome, thank you everyone. All right, y'all, and that's it.
thank you again so, so very much. Congratulations to all of our students. Congratulations to our teaching artists and mentors for such an amazing job this semester. I know it was not easy given the situation, but y'all did it. An amazing, amazing job, everyone. Thank you all so much. Um, I hope to see you all next week for the student culmination presentation. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye.